Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Grimes. We're kicking off the Our City series where we go around to local businesses in our community every month. We want to recognize those businesses in our communities that have made Edmonton strong and what it is. Comment below which local business that you want to be seen featured in the next episode. Today, we're going down to Irie Foods, a local Jamaican restaurant down in the Millwoods community. Come with me and let's check it out. See, I'm gonna bring some people to the house. They're gonna think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> really, I just came and got the cheat code from you guys. But you know what you're doing now. Uh, my name is Kirk Ricketts. I'm the owner, director of Irie Foods. This is my mom. I'm Pam Ricketts. I'm the founder of Irie Foods. We have come up with our own blend, I guess, right, for the jerk seasoning. So it's set up that anyone can use this and you can jerk anything. You can jerk chicken, you can jerk beef, you can jerk fish. And it's easy, it's already pre-made. You see, I was working for the Good Samaritan so Care Center and I worked there for 15 years. And then I get injured. So they like medical board me. So then I'm, I know I could cook. So I start thinking about cooking. So I came here and I start this one named Irie Foods. I was first at Calgary Trail and then I had another location at West Edmonton Mall. When I opened Irie Foods, the, um, the food wasn't like, say, people used to the food. So we have to try to stay as long as we can to convince them to try the food. But once they try it, it's like everybody start liking it. The location on Calgary Trail is called Caribbean Flavors, more of a, a lounge feel. And then in West Edmonton, all my parents, back I think that would be like 2000, like 1992, they had a location as well, Clarion Flavors, in West Edmonton Mall Phase 3. My mom's been here for a while doing the restaurant business, obviously. So as a kid, I was always at Caribbean Flavors. That was like when we were I was 12, 14 years old. And then with Irie Foods here, um, I left the car business as a finance director to help her out because she was a one-man army. Like today we have like five, six people running this place and she was doing it by herself for six five, years. six years, yeah, on her own. So. We just recently signed our 10-year lease, again, in this same location. Um, we've had another location on White Ave, but this just seems like home. Like, we've always lived on the south side, right? The community, we've seen this community grow. Grant McEwen became like a, a COVID center. Now it's gone, right? Like a major point like that. And we just want the city to grow, right? And enjoy our food and be part of that. We've been here, like, I went to school across the street. So at lunchtime, I'd come here. And then my friends also have come here and then now I see their kids are coming here and those kind of things. So as a community side, you, like you've seen the community grow. So other people are like, oh, you should go buy a location somewhere else. But I'm like, there's no way I would ever give up this spot or like ever because it's just, it's a staple. It's a staple, I guess that's a, the best way to put it. It's a staple in Edmonton. Like you can now probably walk around the city, ask about Irie Foods and someone knows about this location. Oh yeah, that little spot right there on the south side, right? Get your jerk chicken, get your Jamaican patties. So you just put some on it, depending on how hot you want it. How hot I want it? Yes. Okay. So this could be, would be enough for you? No, yeah. that needs more. That needs enough. Okay. That should be enough. If you, don't, if you want it hotter, you put more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just rub it up. Okay. Okay. Right and just right put it together. That okay. interaction with the community is huge. And like, we've been around for a long time, so, our impact on the city, I feel like it's pretty big. Like sometimes I'll be out east, I'll mention I run Irie Foods and like, hey, I ate there. So that's all the way in Toronto, Ontario, you know what I mean? To have respect out there about our, what we're doing out here in Edmonton. So that's the kind of impact that we want to have and continue to have with the city as we go into our, almost our 30th year. So yeah, so, so it's been a long run, but it's a good run. It's been a good run. This is our natural herb and spices. That's what we call it. Where's that at? We make everything from scratch. So like we we have come up with our own blend, I guess, right? For the jerk seasoning. So it's set up that anyone can use this and you can jerk anything. You can jerk chicken, you can jerk beef, you can jerk fish, and it's easy. It's already pre-made, pre-seasoned, pre-peppered. So some of the ingredients are like the red peppers, your scotch bonnets, garlics, onions and then these seasonings here, and the browning gives you the color, the dark color. So with this, you can cook, and so it tastes great. all of that's in here already? Yes, all of that's in there, yeah. in a measured, 
And this Blend is for sale. Can. And yeah. this is for sale. This is the seasoning, like the marinade, and this is the Ready sauce. Okay. Pretty easy. You have a barbecue, a couple guys coming over. Yeah. You just throw the, a little bit of this on some fish, you have your fish. Done. <laughs> you don't even have to add anything. So. Well, I found a cheat code. It's a little bit of a cheat code, <laughs> okay? Cheat but this code. is what we use here. So okay. mama can crack that open and then. So with this much chicken, you might just have to use okay. like half of that one. Not even. Yeah, but this is what you. He already did this, marinated. Okay. He already marinated the chicken with seasoning. So this is what he marinated. Yeah, overnight. it's not marinated. It's like a marinated stuff. Yeah. yeah, so marinate that. But now that, we're yeah. going to put the um, the jerk sauce on. Okay. Okay. So you just put some on it, depending on how hot you want it. How hot I want it? Yes. Okay. So this could be, could be enough for you? Yeah. No, that needs more. That yeah. needs more. That should be enough. If you don't, if you want it hotter, you put more. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, I'll just rub it up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right I just start right putting it together. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, I'm gonna bring some people to the house. They're gonna think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> really, I just came and got the cheat code from you guys. But you know what you're doing now. Because you already learned it right here. So when we marinate our chicken, it's marinated 24 to 48 hours before. So okay. it, that seasoning gets right in there. What we do is we could do it in three hours, two hours, and it would be ready. And it'll be good, okay. especially with this. Especially yeah. with this. Marinate it, it's, it's, throw it back in the fridge or something, and, and let want, it just yeah. do its thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, do a good job in all. There you go. Yeah. Yes. That's right in there. Yeah. That's good. Okay. A little extra in there. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Yes. We're, we're good. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now and you, and you keep your chicken down. Keep it down. Keep skin down. Skin down. And this up. So yeah, when, when you marinate it, you do it like that. You, you put the keep skin it. down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See. That is season soak into the meat. In here ah. and go down through the skin and the bone and everything. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So you put it. Yeah. I'm learning. I promise yes. you, I'm learning. So then after this is set, right, our cooking process now. Well, no, first Aaron. Load this up. Oh, you're gonna load this time. Skin up. But when it's marinating, skin yeah. down. You skin down. So the so the so now you're gonna put um. Oh, skin up. Skin down. Yeah. No. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Down. Yeah. This time down. All right. Okay. And the reason why you don't want this to stick. That'll stick to the bottom. To the bottom of the pan. Okay. I can just put them all in there? Yeah. Like I can stack them up? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can. Stack it over here like that? Yeah, yeah. you know. You don't so have that for much. us now, our put process. Put a little bit over it now. You don't waste anything. I like that. There we go. <laughs> don't waste it. Yeah, put it on it. And just rub it on it on top. Get it left over. And that will be it. Okay. And then what you do, you're going you're gonna to rinse this a little bit. Okay. Put a little bit of water in there, Rudy. Put this is like we don't waste anything. I like we that. try not to waste any of, yeah. any bit of it. So too much love went into making okay. it. You can't waste it. Okay, you put it in here. See? Okay. Right. Just a little bit like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then now, am I taking these off now? You can take those off now. Yeah. Yes. And then this would basically go into our mad oven like that. And then we cook that at, three, at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour, okay. and then it's done there. And then after that, we take it on a tin sheet and then bake it, right? 500 for an hour. Yeah. Put it on a sheet and you bake it. And then we bake it in the oven. So a couple things happen. When you're in the oven, all the fat comes off of it. And when you bake it, it seals it, right? Okay. So that's our way of kind of getting that crunch on it without having to grill it. Okay. On the food truck, we grill it, so you get like that charcoal, but here we don't grill it, right? right? It's um, time efficient this way, okay. right? And it keeps it consistent, okay. right? So that's our, that's our method okay. that we use here. Some other places might do something different, but yeah. that's what we've been running with over the years, so I like it's your good. We're here, for, we're here for your method. <laughs> so that's the finished product there. That's the Ready to go. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's that's how we do it here at Irie. At Irie. That's the finished product, obviously, after yes. you take it out there. Yeah. yeah. How long do you put it in the oven for? Not long. Not it's long. Like, uh, it's just more to get the color and a little hard, okay. so 20 minutes, okay. right? Okay. And then with this oven, it's a convection, it's powerful. So maybe on a, a regular home stove, yeah. like oven, you might need a little bit longer, yeah. but here it's about 20 minutes just to get the color and you're good to go. You mean to burn it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying that this weekend at the house. I'm, I'm going right to come back in and let you know how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it though. 
Yeah. Well, then you have to take this with you. Oh, I will. There you go. Could you add this to my bill. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have to use leg and back. You can use real this chicken. This can be used on anything. That's a nice thing up. with this. Okay. You could cut up a whole chicken, uh -huh. and then you marinate it just like we did, yeah. and then you cook it. Okay. You don't have to use leg and back. Okay. And you can do wings too. You yeah. can do jerk wings. wings. Yeah. Jerk, jerk wings. wings. Yeah. Jerk wings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I guess that's it. All right. Okay, I gotta be honest, I was nervous about the oxtails. I've always heard my teammates talk about it. But my man Kurt, he convinced me with how he described them. So here we go. Here's nothing. How soft is that? Oh my God. Right? <laughs> Told you. I don't even need teeth. It would have came up if I bit it with my lip. Let me help you out. There you go. That's finger we can do. That's Aaron trying on stuff for the first time. It's good. I've been missing out. I've been missing out. Yeah, you have a combination now. You can go combo with the oxtail and jerk chicken, so you got a little spice in that. Great. Right? Here we go. That's the combo. I love it. Big shout out to Irie Foods down here on the south side of Edmonton in the Millwoods community. Thank you for the delicious food. Teaching me how to do that jerk chicken up. Got a little something to try this weekend. Appreciate you guys.